five facts about dwarf planets. The solar system's underdogs are dwarf planets. A dwarf planet is a small, round world that orbits the sun, but doesn't meet all the rules to be called a full planet. The International Astronomical Union says a dwarf planet orbits the sun and is round because of gravity, but here's the catch. It hasn't cleared its neighborhood of other objects. We officially know of five, Pluto, Eris, Ceres, Haumea, and Makemake. But astronomers suspect there are hundreds, maybe even thousands, waiting to be discovered in the Kuiper Belt, that icy frontier past Neptune. The Kuiper Belt is a vast, donut-shaped region of icy bodies that stretches beyond Neptune's orbit, starting around 30 astronomical units, AU, from the Sun, and extending to about 55 AU, a cosmic second asteroid belt, but much larger and icier. It's home to thousands of small objects made of rock, metal, and frozen water, methane, and ammonia. It was formed from leftover material in the early solar system that never coalesced into planets. The icy frontier of the solar system full of frozen worlds and mysteries and helps astronomers understand how planets, and maybe even life, came to be. Not all dwarf planets live in the same part of town. Ceres hangs out in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, making it the closest dwarf planet to Earth. The others, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris, reside in the Kuiper Belt, the frozen playground at the edge of the solar system. Ceres in the asteroid belt is, is the closest one to Earth, a bright white spot that reflects sunlight, salt deposits left by briny water seeping up from below the surface. Pluto is a giant heart-shaped glacier called Tombaugh Regio, made of nitrogen ice with mountains of water ice taller than the Rockies. Haumea is shaped like a squashed egg that spins so fast that it has a full rotation every four hours, the fastest rotating large body in the solar system, and has its own faint ring system. Makemake is covered in frozen methane and nitrogen, giving it a reddish color and is one of the brightest objects in the Kuiper belt. Eris is slightly more massive than Pluto, with a highly reflective surface coated with frozen methane that sparked Pluto's demotion in 2006, since its discovery showed Pluto wasn't unique. Dwarf planets are leftovers from the solar system's formation 4.6 billion years ago. Because they're small and distant, they've stayed relatively unchanged. Studying them is like peeking into a time machine that shows us what conditions were like when the planets were first forming. Though small, they pack a cosmic punch. From icy glaciers to egg-shaped spins, they remind us that the universe is full of surprises. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.